All right, I'm back. Okay, now look, I just have to let y'all know something. I have become obsessed with going to Korean day spas. And one of my new favorite things to do while I'm at the Korean day spa is to pick me up some tteokbokki before I leave the building. It is super delicious, sweet, spicy, except the place where I go, it's like super, super spicy. So I wanted to know if I could make it at home. Now, I do have a recipe on how you make this from scratch because I've been doing a lot of research on it, but I wanted to give this a try for the days that I don't want to. Now, what I will say is, is that although this brand of tteokbokki will be my first time trying it, Gen Ramen is my favorite ramen by far. And sometimes I buy the spicy, sometimes I use the mild. Today, I'll be using the mild. In this pack, it comes with the rice cakes themselves, which you see right here which literally is exactly what it is. It's nothing more than rice. It's just a lot thicker, that's all. It also comes with two packs of sauce. Now, I'm not gonna lie, in the process of me making this, I thought there's no way that it's gonna be enough liquid, but trust the process, they know what they're doing. They've been doing this a lot longer than we have. Before we get too far into it, you wanna get yourself a pot and you're gonna add in 250 milliliters or one cup of water. You're gonna bring that up to a boil. You're also gonna make sure that you rinse off the rice cakes. Do not eat that package. That is just to keep everything fresh. I only let this sit in the water for I probably maybe 60 seconds, if that. You're not trying to defrost them or anything like that. You're just simply giving it a rinse off. Why am I doing that? I don't know. I'm just reading the damn package to do what the people tell me to do. Now, like I said, my favorite brand of ramen is Gin Ramen. I just love the flavor of it. You can use the spicy or you can use the sweet. It's up to you. I like to cook my ramen separately because I want it to be a particular texture. Once you add the rice cakes to the boiling water, you're going to add in both packages of the sauce mixture. Once again, I thought looking at this, I was like, there's no way that it's going to be enough. It's just not going to get thick enough. Like once I started mixing it in, I thought this is way too thin looking. Like it doesn't look anything like what I get at my favorite Korean day spa. But then I remembered, baby, what I've added in there are those rice cakes and rice cakes. Once they start to get rehydrated with the liquid all of that starch is going to get pulled out of the rice cake, and that's what's going to naturally thicken it up. So don't go adding flour or cornstarch or none of that stupid stuff. Trust the process. The rice cakes are going to naturally thicken it up. As you can see, it's already starting to thicken up as is. This process only takes four to five minutes. I did four minutes because I wanted to make sure that I did not overcook them because if you've never had rice cakes before, baby, you will know that it only takes one extra minute and now you'll be chewing on super, super tough and chewy rice cakes. And that's just not delicious. As I said, Jun Ramen is my fave. I made it in a separate pan just because I wanted it to be a particular texture. I wanted to make sure that I didn't overcook it. So essentially, all I'll be doing is adding in my cooked ramen to the already cooked rice cakes just so that it can soak up all the sauce. Um, so now that I got my ramen looking exactly the way I wanted to, I only made sure that I kept about one third of a cup of the leftover water in there because I didn't want to thin out my sauce from the tteokbokki itself. Now that it's all done, I've added my ramen to the pot. I'm going to give it a little mix around so that some of the ramen can start to soak up some of that delicious sauce. Now, this next thing you're about to see is me adding in the cheese. Some people add in cheddar. Some people add in mozzarella. But two of my good, good Judy's that are Korean and that eat this on damn near a daily basis told me, Tobias, use Kraft single cheese. And I said, well, why would I argue with y'all? Y'all know what y'all talking about. And baby, I am so damn happy that I did. I put the lid on it just for like, a, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 seconds to allow that cheese to start to melt mixed it all together as far as like over the ramen. When I tell y'all, this is now one of my favorite go-to dishes. And like I said, you can add rice cakes to it. You can add egg to it. You can add shrimp to it. If you want hell, you can add whatever type of protein you want to To be quite frank. It's not up to me to tell you how to eat it. But what I will say is that it was super delicious. I'm super happy with it. And honestly, y'all should go on ahead and try to find it. If y'all can find a 99 Ranch Market or maybe they might sell it online, I'm not sure. But absolutely make it. I'm also going to make it from scratch in a couple of weeks as well. So just stay tuned, child, because uh, y'all know my love for Asian food in general. But this right here has brought me a lot of joy knowing that now I can also have one of my favorite dishes at home when I'm not at the Korean Day Spa. And the best thing is, it ain't even that spicy. It's the perfect balance of sweet and spicy. Okay, now wait a minute now. <sighs> I'm in my bed. Yes, minding my own day of business, eating my food. And I just wanted to come on here to let y'all know that what I thought wasn't spicy is absolutely spicy. Mm -hmm. 
I think it had to catch up to me a little bit. I'm coming home, Elizabeth. <laughs>